Okay, for this uh, first part of the paper, you should be on this box where my thumb is, the tear paper demonstration experiment burn paper. As I uh, go over each of these experiments, you need to fill out the physical state of the substance, the color of the substance, and then write your observations on them. On this first demonstration experiment, I will give you those answers as we go through it. Uh, and then after that, you will have to provide them yourself. Then after the five experiments on the back of this paper, you will answer the conclusion questions. Uh, down here on number two, you're answering if it's a physical change or a chemical change, and then giving me evidence as to why it is one or the other. So, on this first experiment, we have a piece of paper, and that demonstration experiment, the top part is tear paper. So we're gonna demonstrate that first. Uh, but the first thing we do is we say, uh, what's the physical state of this is? Uh, it is a solid. And so we would write solid in that first box there after demonstration experiment. Uh, its color is white. And so we're gonna write white in the color there. And then we'll do the experiment, tear paper. Okay, and you're gonna write your observations about what you saw happen here. Uh, one thing can be that the paper's uh, total area has been reduced or split into two. Uh, there's an uneven tear throughout the paper, uh, so it's kind of zigzaggy. The paper did not uh, change into a new substance. So those are a couple of observations that I could make there. Uh, then the Next uh, part of this demonstration experiment, burning the paper, we're going to write our observations there on that as well. So we've burnt the paper uh, and we can see that it's released a lot of smoke. We can see that it's created some uh, white and black ash and the paper has been significantly reduced where it was burned in size. So we could write all of that in our observations as well. Uh, and so those observations will help us understand if a chemical or physical change occurred. And so if we flipped over back on the uh, side with the conclusion questions, where that demonstration experiment is, we would split this in half just like this because there's two different uh, changes that we did there in the demonstration experiment. The first one we tore paper uh, based off our observations we said that paper didn't really change too much in the end and so that would be a physical change even though it changed its appearance it did not change substance and that's what we would put there on evidence. Then uh, on the second part where we burned the paper, the second part where we burned the paper, uh, we would say it was a chemical change. And our evidence would be that we created new substances, ash, smoke, uh, which is carbon dioxide, and probably some water in that uh, gas as well. And so we had a, a smell change, we had a color change, we, had, we created a new substance. All of those things are evidence that we would put here uh, for why a chemical change occurred. Uh, also, we added heat would be another evidence. And so as you see the, watch the other experiments, you will just uh, fill those in. And then after you've filled all this in, you'll make sure you, you do the back physical change, chemical change, and the evidence. Um, you can either copy this stuff into your notebook if you need to or you can print one of these and then just bring it to me when you can or send me a picture of it on Schoology in a message. Either way that will work um, for completing this experiment. On this one you can get uh, help. It is not a quiz. On Thursday though we will be doing a quiz that you will have to do on your own.